All right, this is it. This should be it. This should be the last part, the finale of the Vanguard campaign. I'm pretty sure this is the the last level, so <clears throat> we're almost done with it. Luckily, um, so I'm gonna finish it right now. I'll finish it tonight. Luckily, before uh, Battlefield comes out tomorrow night. It's fully out Friday, and then uh, I might be getting my Xbox tomorrow so that I can get Halo, which I'm, even, I'm actually more excited about than Battlefield. <clears throat> but honestly, once Battlefield and Halo comes out, I'm not going to be playing that much of this game anymore. <laughs> honestly, I'll probably grind a little bit of multiplayer like off stream, but it's going to be, you know, Battlefield, Halo, that's the... That's what I'm here for. So I want to get this campaign done with before before that all starts. The campaign's been all right so far. It's been it's it's pretty good. It's not bad. It's a little underwhelming, like a little forgettable. It's not exactly like as like they push this this whole narrative of like all oh, these different like fronts, fighting on the different fronts and stuff. It's not exactly all that. But I think it's alright. So far. We'll see how it ends. If I had the bet out of how many of us are left? Four? The American's gonna die. She's gonna live. I think this guy's gonna live. And I think the Australian might die. I think the American's gonna sacrifice himself if I had to just take a random guess. Shipment also came out today for the multiplayer. Played a little bit of that earlier, and that was uh, kind of a nightmare. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why, but that for the the new version of Shipment is just like bizarre. It's a lot. It's a. Uh, I don't know about it yet. I should probably have reloaded. Oh, these are regular people. I think the best, uh... I think the best character so far has been the, the girl. Cause she actually has, like, back, like, better backstory that isn't just, like, military bullshit. We're not just firing into, like, crowds of people, are we? Don't reload. Probably have to get rid of this gun. something I hate these fucking guys where'd he go This gun's better. Well, I don't know. He might. He is German. He is a Nazi, and they seem to do that. I 
Those are people, I think. You might want to get out of these tunnels, I'm not gonna lie. They're not useful to him, so he doesn't care. Yeah, he doesn't give a shit. That's a problem. You got any more sacred bombs, Wade? Fresh out. We don't have time to find another way. Could climb over it, but you know, that'd be too easy. Fuck me, dead. The Russians are wasting this place. Look, let's see how they like it. I hope the runway doesn't look like you mean this. good. This is like, okay. yeah, there's Nazis here, but there's also a lot of civilians still. It's not, it's not exactly good. That's war. Are you bad? I don't know who the fuck is bad right now. Is everybody that isn't us four bad? Is this guy bad? I'm just gonna kill everybody. I don't know if like there's good guys or not. I thought these were maybe good guys because that tank didn't shoot at us. We need to get inside! Kinda reminds me of that Modern Warfare 2 level where they're like invading DC or whatever. Get back on that hard track. Keep pushing towards the airport. Focus on the hard track. Move it on the half track. I feel like some people come home from war and they're like, I've killed like 10 people or whatever during the war. I've killed like 400, at least. Oh, he's right there, buddy. Isn't it his guys? What do you mean, how do you get through this? The airport's just ahead! Get out of the way, dude. Right, I'm better off just not being on that thing, to be honest. I'm the main character, I plot armor. Okay, that was a little extra. As you should. Oh, okay, I get it. That's kinda cool actually. I like that. I just wanted to kill that guy in particular. Fuck him. 
Is she the only one that can climb? She's the only, like, athletic one here. I'm waiting for the day that they, like... Well, I guess they kind of did in Zombies. I was gonna say, I'm waiting for when they, like, integrate Zombies into, like, campaign. There was kind of a scene in Cold War that was a really good part of Cold War, in my opinion. Where they kind of included, uh, Zombies. I actually really like that. I don't like how little ammo there is everywhere. Oh, I can fuck these dudes up. Am I supposed to be aiming for a certain one? You're dead. I just call all of them. I can't. Oh, I can just move over here. Where is that guy? You. What the hell? I think I'm on fire. <laughs> oh shit. I want to shoot the tank and like blow the tank up or something. That'd be fun. This guy's alive. That's what I wanted to do. That's why I would never, ever be a flamethrower trooper because of that. Fuck that. <laughs> How am I supposed to take out a tank? We're just throwing bombs at us? I don't know about that. Don't mind me, I'm just taking your shit. Oh, here we go, here we go. Did I hit the right guy? I don't even know if I hit the right guy. No, I missed. If I can hit it from here, though. That's it. Jesus Christ. Did I shoot over it? There we go.
Alright, I'm back. I have to take care of something real quick. I feel like the girl's gonna get captured. She's not with us. Oh yeah, this guy has aimbot. Doesn't work very well, but... Oh my god, I keep playing guard. Okay, can't go back there. No, aim back to this guy. Where's the last guy at? There he is. I like this gun. The fucking G43 or whatever. Oh, there she is. She's with this. Oh yeah, don't worry, I'll do, I'll do everything. Sounds like they expected us. Hey Lucas, you got a banger for me? Give him me this. <laughs> Door's locked. <laughs> okay, you don't really know who was in there. Oh shit. Damn, that guy just fucking knocked me out. That's cool. I can't believe I'm agreeing with you on something. Glad we're all getting along. Rising is right out of here, can't be. Oh, I don't want to be this guy again. I want to be the guy with the gun I like. This is it. Our final winnings. Let's get this back. For no back. And for Richard. This ends today. It's done. Actually, yeah, I want the regular version. Oh, yeah, give me that gun too. <clears throat> For some reason, fast mag guns have like no ammo in them at all. Fuck, where is he? He's gotta be on the wrong way. Smoke ahead! Brace yourselves! Where is he? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> it fucking takes so long to throw a fucking grenade. Jump up now. Smoke ahead! Jagermorda! Go fast! 
Brace yourselves! Oh, what the fuck? Why'd you shoot me? You bitch. I don't know where you went, though. Well, I was trying to shoot the guy, and then you shot me in the back. You piece of shit. Yeah, no shit. Send it behind you. Christ. It's moving to the right. Take the water, the walk. Oh my god, they actually killed him. Ready yourselves. This is it. Gonna take two of us. Oh. Come on, man. We've got this. That. Uh, why did you just do that? Oh, whoops. I killed him. <laughs> I mean, no mark the guy if I'm not supposed to shoot him. Come on, man. We've got this. <laughs> so, like, I'm not going to shoot this guy. I'm going to tackle him. Just gonna run after him? Okay. Hey, bitch. I was gonna say that doesn't really look like him, but no, no, it does. I guess the hair. You cannot kill me. I yeah, I can. You, you wanna bet? And even the allies would leave their decision still inferior, such as yourself. We need him alive, boss. The intel he's got's what we came for. Why? Hey, shoot him a brick. I'm starting this plane. He'll never talk. Get up! I'm gonna kill him. If they give me a decision, I'm killing him. I don't give a shit about his intel. The war's I'm over. Sure make sure I'm well taken care of. It's payment for my cooperation. Peace for a new beginning. Life of a Mac in luxury. Might suit me. Perhaps I might even start a new family. Not for you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't do that. There's, our plane is literally right there. I wouldn't, uh... This is your new beginning. Oh, I don't get a big decision? The value that I can provide! Do I get an option? No. I don't even get an option. I wanna not do it, see what happens. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't walk into the plane, please. I'll be honest, you die a lot slower than that when you get burned to death. Let's go. Look 
working out there. It's gonna be dicey. Just how I like it. I really thought he was gonna die. Argentina? Oh. Christ. These bastards have been plotting covert operations all over the world. Right under our noses. Are you like... Is it operations or is it just escape plans? I think it's just escape plans. Because there's a lot of people nowadays that talk about if you go to like South America, there's like German towns and like families and stuff down there that just like shouldn't be down there like people actually think that like Nazi leaders retreated and just hid in like South America and they like restarted their lives down there oh that's probably uh oh that is the zombie thing that's cool looks like we're gonna be busy keep going Open them all. Imagine this playing is shot down. Which project aggregate? Secret V2 rocket facility. You think you could fly one of those? Ha! I could fly anything. Hang on back there! Fucking wait. Our mission was complete. But there'd be more. Forged in the fires. We were the tip of the spear. We were the vanguard. <laughs> so that makes just like Easter Egg Central. Dog shit company. It was pretty good. I think it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know where I would rank the campaign specifically, like, on the scale of campaigns. Like, Call of Duty campaign. I can't skip this. Okay, I guess we're watching the whole credits. I think, um, I mean, it looks great. The cutscenes look great. The story was pretty good. It was like different, I guess, at least than just like a regular World War II campaign. It was pretty short. Like I don't know. I feel like they, these COD campaigns get shorter and shorter. I feel like there's only like six missions. So it was pretty short. I think the characters were pretty good, but they all only had like one level to them. And I feel like the what is production babies? I don't know, like, when I think of it, I feel like I'll remember it as being kind of, like, generic. Or, like, forgettable. Like, there wasn't, like... There wasn't many, like, holy shit moments. You know, like, Modern Warfare 2... I mean, that's a high bar to live up to, right? But you have, like, the airport scene. You have, like, the, the snowmobile scene. You have the shepherd betrayal scene. You have the end scene where you kill shepherd. Scene where ghost dies. And, like... I don't know. I feel like it's... I mean, obviously, that's an incredibly hard, high bar to live up to. Is something like the Modern Warfare 2 campaign or the Black Ops 1 campaign. Or even two. Or Mono Warfare 3, but... This just feels like something that, like... If, if Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3 and Black Ops 1 and 2 were considered, like, movies, right? This would be... This feels like a spin-off show. High Moon Studios. Didn't High Moon Studios make the, uh... The Transformers 3 game. I used to play that a lot. And then they make War for Cybertron. 
That's one of the best games ever. I don't know, I feel like it's good, but I feel like it's gonna fade like in everybody's minds when they remember like when like t three years from now when you go back I remember like Call of Duty Call of Duty games and campaigns and stuff I feel like it's gonna kind of fade from people's minds like people aren't gonna really remember this I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what the general consensus is on the campaign either, because people don't play campaign anymore. I can't believe you can't skip this. No objective. <laughs> Trey Eric. So all three studios had like something to do with it? Cause I saw that was Raven before this, and not Treyarch. There's so many people that work on this shit. Maybe it's it might just be like graphics or gameplay or something. The engine. <clears throat> there was some shit that came out about Activision recently. About uh, I think like. The shareholders and the employees want the, the CEO to retire or step down or whatever. I don't remember why specifically, but Activision and Blizzard have like a bunch of shit going on at that company right now. It's really uh, it's a, it's a shit show over there. You know what's crazy is, didn't they say that this game has been in the works for like two or three years? Cold War came out in like six months. This game doesn't feel like it's been in the works for that long. Like it does feel different than other Call of Duties. There's other, you know, there's other things to it that differs it. Like one of the best things is the destructible environments, but not even just like the walls and doors, like little things that when you shoot, on the map like everything kind of like can move unlike cold war didn't have any of that even warzone doesn't have any of that but this game does which is a big step up i think that's a good thing but like the campaign was really short and pretty basic the zombies is literally just well the mul multiplayer first multiplayer there's like 16 maps i'm not gonna call it 20 maps because it's not 20 maps there's 16 maps and champion hill but it's all like it's like six basic game modes that we've always had for every call of duty ever right and then it's just like with more players because of blitz there's like not that many guns there's like the general the standard amount of guns and then there's one zombies map that is literally just the multiplayer maps reskinned as a zombies map. So I don't know why this game took so long. Or why it took longer than something like Cold War would. It looks great. But I can't imagine that it's just graphics that made it take however long it took. And I can't believe this is still going. <laughs> the finance team. The most exciting part of the game. The finance team. Yes. Probably short for something global something. Global IT.
I'm really hoping the Halo campaign is good because I know Halo kind of it feels like it's focusing Halo Infinite is focusing on the multiplayer and people are loving it so far like it's gotten really positive hype so far since Halo came out like a few days ago which is awesome um, because I didn't think it looked that good but it's getting really positive reviews so far but it is just the multiplayer and I hope the campaign is good I hope it lives up to uh, because honestly Halo 5 is dog shit Halo 4 is good but it's not it's not great it's not like Halo Reach or Halo 3 which are some of the best games of all time Halo 2 so Halo's next as long as I get my Xbox soon, Battlefield comes out soon. Tomorrow night, I'll be playing Battlefield. Um, I don't think I don't think Battlefield has a campaign, does it? I think it's just multiplayer. I've been seeing that Battlefield's getting mixed reviews, though. It doesn't look good. Like visually, the game looks empty. It looks kind of like uh, Cyberpunk, where it just looks like empty and kind of like. I don't know, kind of like unfinished, but I've heard it's a uh, kind of underwhelming, or I heard it's pretty broken. But that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of games that come out nowadays, I guess. Everything seems to come out broken. This game, a lot of the multiplayer is broken. I don't know how. I don't know how Call of Duty can still put out broken games when it's literally the same thing every single year. I don't know how you can have weapon balancing issues as if you've never tested it. I don't know how you can have challenges that don't, or camos that don't track. As if it's any different than any of the last fucking 10 Call of Duty games that have come out. I don't know how you do that. I don't know how you can have map glitches for maps that are just reskins. Like, you think that they would be, like, professionals at putting out, like, fully functioning games after putting out, like, 12 of them in a row year after year but no nope I don't know what else I'm going to play on Xbox because I'm, I'm getting it I, I literally got an Xbox only to play Halo Alan Cuppy Garcia somebody else somebody else's nickname was Tony the fuck minty i'm looking at these, these why do all these people have nicknames pigeon leo pigeon winfrey emilio milo vasquez at least that one makes sense this is the longest credits ever this is like longer than a fucking mcu movie can i skip this i can't skip it There's only that one unit had like nicknames. Everybody else is boring. Crease and Carr related to Derek. Bryce Arnold related to Dan. Carrie Taylor related to Jonathan. is Adam Hawk behavior what the fuck is it the name of the company or is that like HR <laughs> because they should all be fired how did so many people and so many companies work on this game that's like four hours long 
is insane. How are there so many people that work on this shit? Domator. That's a cool name. Naggy. Bob's Han, Bob's Han Naggy. This guy's name is Edit. Edit Toma. The guy really just made a company based on himself, and he's the only employee. Aaron Maxi. <laughs> Aaron Maxi Photography. Employed by Aaron. He's like, I'm just going to credit myself with the big bold letters from my company and then put my one name. Six people work at that company. Gadget bot. Like, what do these different companies do? Goodbye, Kansas? <laughs> what? Bro, they're literally, they're just trolling at this point. They're just making shit up. Who the fuck, like, who employed these random ass little companies to do whatever they do? Who was like, yeah, call up uh, Camera Obscura or Lab 42. We need them to do fucking sound effects for footsteps or whatever the fuck. The next Call of Duty game should be in VR. Call of Duty VR. That would be sick. It wouldn't really be sick, but it would be uh, something. Something different, at least. Zombies VR would actually work, maybe. <sighs> I just found out the other day that Hitman 3 is a VR. I didn't know that. And now I kind of want to try it, because that, kind of, that sounds kind of sick, actually. I still have my VR downstairs, but I haven't used it in ages. I bought, like, the Rick and Morty game, like, a year ago, and played, like, 10 minutes of it. VR games are expensive and they're short. This guy's employed a whole fucking hot sauce company. Hot sauce brand. They literally just hired a different company for every little aspect in the game. How are you going to call it 12 Monk Studios if there's one of you? Gary Dunn. I wonder if they're married. These are all the Russians. Russia's probably like, holy shit, you guys made a game where we're not the bad guys? I was wondering, like, then when, uh, when Battlefield 4 came out, Battlefield 4 was about, like, America versus China, and that was, like, a whole thing. The China was mad about it, and they were trying to, like, get the game canceled or something, or kill the game off. And we didn't. 
but I remember that being a whole thing. I'm pretty sure Battlefield 4 is probably banned in China. I would assume. I'm still so curious how, how uh, like countries like Germany treat games like this. Or how Russia treats like uh, Black Ops Cold War. Wonder if that's like illegal in Russia or something. Or maybe they have like <laughs> they have like a warning on the front, like this is American propaganda. Nothing is real. Americans are bad. We acknowledge the people who live somewhere. Pay respects to elders of the past. Couldn't have done it without you. Got a trophy for watching the credits. That's it. How many missions was there, dude? I feel like there really wasn't that many. There's a lot of cutscenes. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine missions. Technically, these two are like one mission though and these two are like one mission because this one's on rails so these two are almost like one mission too I don't even remember this one. Oh, this is this is when we ran straight at the enemy and everybody died well it was okay I think it's a little underwhelming It looked great. It had some cool moments, but I think it's going to be ultimately like kind of one of the more forgettable campaigns. I would still say, I, by, by the way, <laughs> this menu is going to keep getting bigger and bigger as long as they keep integrating into Warzone. Like when the next scene comes out, there's going to be five of these now. And it's just going to keep, <laughs> they're going to have every Call of Duty game on this fucking menu. But, uh, man, I wish the zombies was better in this game, man. The zombies sucks. It's so, like, undercooked. I would still say this campaign is better because I felt like every mission was kind of, like, memorable. Like, every mission was so unique and, like, pretty cool. I, th I think the Cold War campaign might be better than... Yeah, I'd say the Cold War campaign is better than Vanguard 2 because the ending was really great. Like with the uh, the brainwash shit. And then Vanguard. I just feel like... I feel like over time people are going to kind of forget about Vanguard just as a whole. Like five... Not even five years from now. Three years from now. Two years from now. People are going to kind of forget about Vanguard. I feel like the only reason Vanguard's even popular right now is because people know that it's going to integrate into Warzone. Which people still play. But, uh, yeah. It was alright. I probably wouldn't play it again. I went back through, I played the Modern Warfare campaign, campaign twice. Once on normal and once on hardcore. I only played the Cold War campaign once. I don't know that I would go back through this and play it. Unless I got really bored at some point. So maybe like eight months from now, nine months from now, I'll go back through and play it. I gotta turn this shit down. <laughs> Alright, well that was... The end of the Vanguard campaign. Like, it does look great. Like, visually, the cutscenes look great. I feel like they put more time into that than the actual game. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Tomorrow will be probably Battlefield, maybe Halo. I'm, I'm hyped for that. <laughs>